So for how long you are having these lipomas? Uh, first I noticed it 10 years ago. I think. 10 years ago. Yeah, there was only um, one or two at the time. Okay. Um, and then just gradually they all just started, the others just started showing. Okay. So then when you noticed these swellings, what you did? You visited NHS? Uh, so, th yeah, so initially I visited my GP and mm. um, he said it's harmless, you don't need to, it's just a cosmetic thing. We don't really remove it on the NHS, but you can do it privately. So I did actually get one removed in uh, London a few years back. Okay. Um, and it was a similar size to these ones here. It was uh, this region here. Okay. Um, so they so almost as they have taken the incision bigger than the size of this. Yeah, similar size to it. Okay. Yeah, um, and it obviously left a mark okay. because then I developed quite a few more. Mm -hmm. They want to go through and have these cuts, you know. So you were scared that there will be so many cuts if I remove all of them, especially on the arms. It will look not. It will not look good. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Then what else you tried in this? So after this, I was looking online to see if there's any method that can actually get rid of this fat without going through and uh, cutting it and having stitches and so I found I came across um, fat dissolving injections um, and the, the, the one that I looked at in particular is called Aqualix it was something that is it's recently been FDA approved but not for um, lipoma it's been approved for like body fat so like chin yeah actually chin. these this lipolytic injections are useful for double chin uh -huh. they can be useful for some uh, irregular fats or if uh, there is some fats in the your uh, this lower and lower yeah. area yeah. but not for uh, this lipoma because lipoma is a very well encapsulated thing uh -huh. normally do not have that uh, it doesn't go like the, the way this fat goes mm -hmm. because if you give the injection it will induce a chemical reaction you know it may be lipolytic but where that fat will go it may become a little soft but rather than becoming soft sometimes people are using different other injections also and that what happens is they becomes very hard yeah. and thicker. What in what will happen in your case after the injection? So when I put it done initially, actually it became inflamed. Okay. Um, it got harder, but also it became darker initially. It became darker. So there's like a because of inflammation, it will be pigmentation also. Yeah. So then, what? I, so the person that I visited, he said it's going to take a few injections to completely completely dissolve it. Um, but he didn't. Want it. So after the first injection, he said let's wait for the pigmentation to go before we do it again. Um, but because of the pigmentation, I got scared that oh no, so if I inject it and instead of scars, I'm going to have dark pigmentation everywhere, so I didn't go ahead with it. And it just got harder, you know, instead of being like removable like these ones. If it, it became harder. It became hard as well. Okay. And that's when I came across your videos and then your recommendations of not not um, having these injections done. Because it's, it, like you said, it's got a capsule yeah. around it and those injections will not get rid of that capsule. So it, this, it still stays, you know, and then it's, like you said, it becomes fibrotic. So yeah, it become inflamed, it become fibrotic, it become difficult for us to remove in future, and sometimes if it becomes thicker, it presses over the underlying underneath structure. Yeah. It causes a stretching sensation. Maybe you get irregular tingling sensation or unusual sensation. Uh -huh. Even while removing these lipomas, we are very careful about the nerves around because it is the that is a technical thing in this, and we have to nicely separate them. Even if they are sometimes very near to the blood vessels, we go around it and bring it up there. Yeah. But lipolytic in, uh, injections, I don't believe, especially in this. And you see, in one lipoma, when one lipolytic injection costed you how much? It was about four or five hundred pounds, I think. Five hundred pounds for one injection, and that was in how in which area? It was how many lipomas it was covering? Um, so this is for single lipoma. Hmm? Single, single, single yeah. lipoma. 400 pounds for single lipoma, you can understand the cost, uh, how much cost it is going to be. Okay. So around minimum 5000 plus Indian rupees. Mm -hmm. And uh, if 400 you are talking. So 4 500 pounds. And it was this was a single injection and they told me that it, would, it won't go in one injection. It will take two or three or maybe. And um, bikes gave up after one because of the effects that I saw. So you can understand the cost also yes, and ultimately no results. Mm, exactly. So especially it is not recommended. Definitely it is recommended in double chin. I also recommend sometimes I use for the double chin those who are having the fat in unusual area with mm -hmm. something which, which looks like a, just a fat deposit. Definitely we can use that.
So you say the best method is just to get it cut? Yes, as at present we have this is the available option. Mm -hmm. Maybe in future if we get better, definitely we will be doing that. And in removing what best technique we are trying, we are working on it. Until now what I have able to devise is this technique of microincision, which is helping very much to the patient. And I have first people who are coming around the globe, we remove them, they come after four years, five years. Recently I had a guy from US who came, removed the, these lipomas. Uh, five years back, again he came back for the rest of the lipomas. Mm -hmm. And you can imagine he has this type of cluster and what they did there, they had taken this big incident thinking that we will go on this and go this, whatever is there we will take out. But after that he was so scared that he forgot about the surgery. Then suddenly I don't know how he come across me. We removed his lipoma, he was very happy. He came back after five years and still he has few lipomas which we will remove after whenever he comes next time. Yeah, I mean I came across you from YouTube and that's the platform that I saw you on and there's just no one that's doing it with this method, especially in the UK. Um, um, they don't do it like that, it's, they, they take the cuff. Almost it's quite it. technically challenging. Yeah. It's not like uh, that uh, anyone just think about it and start doing it. It is like we have to be very, and experience matters a lot. Sometimes I have come across the people who have done this type of lipoma. They tried to do in their thing, but they did not take care of the nurse. And uh, the patient had some issues with that. Okay. So I, I recommend in proper guidance, it should be done by surgeons, not everyone around uh, those who, had, who are trained or, or who, who understand the, this lipoma nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, if you just hit and trial like we do it, trial in the lipoma, it put an injection and then you come across the complications, it's not a good idea. So today we will be going for this but definitely it was quite knowledgeable to know from you that this was my concept and uh, same thing happened for your case that you, your lipoma has become very hard and it is very difficult to now remove but we'll definitely we'll remove. I have already removed lipomas for the persons who have done these many injections but those injections were different than this one. Uh, those also had were not good for the patient and they caused a lot of inflammatory reaction. In your case, there is pigmentation also, but in his case, it was fibrosis. Okay. Any other query? Um, no, I just want to say thank you, really, because honestly, it's just, this is a cosmetic issue, but it does affect people, you know, like when you think. I know, it's, it's more of, uh, sometimes it is a uh, little bit, it causes, psychologically the person feels what is this why they are there but many times it is social reason mm -hmm. recently i am operated a girl who had so many people you can see how her life was like she is an artist mm -hmm. and uh, she has to work on the people around and then she is working so everybody notice her arms this 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 fixed well. mm -hmm. and they will be out it will be a different life yes. for your case they are not that big but because it is concerning you, definitely we can remove. If they are not bothering, if they are not painful, sometimes we do not remove. I say don't remove. Uh, I, if those especially who are on the, this type of area or those which are on the legs, they should be removed. Sometimes they are on the back and abdomen. Sometimes we leave them also. If there are so many, then we have to choose which one to be removed. Yeah. It's hard to explain to people what it is as well because they look at the bump and they think, oh no, you've Yeah, it's, it's I, think and, I, I had a person who had a lipoma, big lipoma in this area yeah. and people were scared of it. If we touch him, that maybe it will come to us. But it is not the case. It is not a contagious disease. So it is not a virus or something. It is just fat. Yeah. But you cannot explain everybody. <laughs> to lemon, it is, oh, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I will stay away from him. This happens. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you.